Hey everybody, it's Megan. I'm here today to talk about our October craft. It's this sugar skull inspired craft. We're going to just make this decoration. Um, it's this lovely sugar skull for the Mexican custom of the Day of the Dead when it is custom to invite spirits back into um, our lives that we have loved and miss um, to remember them um it's a day of celebration rather than mourning and it's uh november 2nd so we are going to make this uh sugar school inspired craft as decoration today it's fun because you get to be a little bit more creative with this craft i really had fun making skull and you can make an altar with other um, items and flowers and pictures if you like or just display your lovely uh, sugar skull and remember loved ones who have passed. Okay, so we are going to gather our supplies. We have included this skull, plastic skull that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Uh, we've got some multicolored markers for decoration. We've got our foam brush, two different kinds of paint. This is a white chalk paint, and this is just a black acrylic. We've got some sparkly sapphire gems, and then we've got some um, glue dots here. And I almost forgot we also have these pretty flowers to decorate. Okay, to begin, we are going to just take our skull, and basically we're just going to paint it with our chalk paint. Um, it should cover pretty well, but you know, it's not gonna completely cover on the first coat. I'd recommend a couple coats. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about making sure the eyes are covered because we're going to do those in black. Um, so just, you know, paint away and then we're gonna have to wait for it to dry. So it's gonna take at least an hour to dry. Uh, so this project takes a little while, just be waiting for your project to dry between painting, so keep covering. Okay, and once we've done a first coat, we can just set that aside and come back to it, like I said, at least an hour, it might be a couple hours before that coat is dry. Okay, now we're, uh, I let this dry for about an hour and I'm doing a second coat. And for most of your skull, two coats is probably enough if you feel like you should have enough of this chalk paint to do three if you really want to do that for a better coverage, at least in certain spots. Okay, and once I have two coats, I'm going to let that dry for a little bit and we will paint in our black spots in the eyes and the nose. And now that we have our white covering our skull, we can use the small brush that's included and the black paint and color and paint in the eye sockets. Of course, this is all up to you. However you choose to decorate your sugar skull is completely up to you. So if you don't want to color in the eye sockets, that's totally your call. And the nose. If you get a little paint, you can touch it up with the white later to fix that up. Okay, and we've got our black. We can let this dry for a little bit too before we start our decoration. And now that our um, paint is dry, we can start the fun part of this, which is 
decorating our sugar skull. So I would recommend uh, maybe looking online for some inspiration uh, for different designs. Uh, keep in mind that sugar skulls traditionally were decorated in sort of a folk art tradition. So a lot of flowers, um, kind of just like leaves and swirls. Uh, but if you look up sugar skulls online, you'll see a lot of different designs that might help you become inspired um, with your drawing. But this is fun because you can really do whatever you want. These markers, uh, this black I'm using is a little bit uh, worn out, but um, do benefit from a, from going over a few times with the color. So we could just kind of have fun and create whatever you want. I like to do a kind of a big flower on the forehead. you kind of can't go wrong with your decoration. And then once you have everything colored in, um, we can also do, a lot of the sugar skulls have sort of a, like a daisy outline around the eyes. So just kind of have fun with it and decorate your skull however you would like. And we'll meet up when you're done. to see here um, the colors are all a little different on the camera but I'm using the bright pink here to fill in the flower and it can be kind of nice to use different colors on the same tone um, to create sort of a more layered look so I've got the kind of purple darker shade around the flower and a lighter pink in the middle and you can look, kind of like uh, layer colors over each other for a deeper color as well. That works pretty well with these markers. So you don't have to be too serious about it. You can kind of play around and try different things, which is nice. I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do a design in the middle of this flower. And then I've got in yellow, kind of hard to see, but I've got some smaller daisies on her cheeks. I'm gonna put another flower on her chin. And then I think with this, I think it looks nice to put black around everything to sort of make it stand out a little better. Um, but again, this is your craft, so you can do whatever you would like. Okay, I am almost done 
with my drawing on my skull. This one here I chose to go with a little more of a leafy kind of natural look on this one. So I did a lot of flowers and a lot of leaves, which I like. The other one I had showed you earlier in the video is a little bit more of a glamorous look. So as you can see, you can really kind of go for anything you want here, which is really fun. So you can add more leaves if you want. And now our last step is to add our flowers and our rhinestone stickers if you choose to use those. Okay, I decorated two to kind of show you some different looks you could do. This one's more of a nature theme inspired one. And this one, like I said, is a little more of a glam woman. I put the rhinestone beads in her eyes to sort of make a daisy flower look in her eyes, which I kind of like that. Uh, look here, it's a little creepy. And the whole idea is to have fun with this. And we can just use our glue dots that were supplied to um, you know, just stick your flowers on the glue dots. Super easy. There. We've got our different look sugar skulls. And here's our finished sugar skull inspired craft. Um, a great way to make a really original decoration for October and to celebrate the Day of the Dead um, and to remember to uh, think about those who have passed in our lives. Um, so yeah, fun, uh, fun to be creative and decorate also kind of however you want. So thank you for joining. Um, it was fun and I will see you next time. Bye.